Whenever snow starts to fall and carolers start to call, it's very clear another year has passed. Time is moving so fast, but as long as you are in my arms, love is here to stay. And it feels like Christmas every day For young or old My arms will hold you always Buonasera, are you ready for another cozy Christmas episode? Are you drinking something hot or just something delicious? Uh, just settle down and we are going to make something so yummy and uh, Christmassy today. Have you heard of Pepe Kake? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but uh, it's a Swedish ginger uh, cookie and it's so heavily spiced. So of course I'm instantly drawn to it and uh, Guido's mother is Swedish and so uh, w this is something that he is uh, is familiar with but then also I just love uh, gingerbread I mean we grew up eating gingerbread but I've already made you an episode with gingerbread so I thought I would do uh, these pepe kake which are a lot thinner and they're sort of more heavily spiced also with pepper and um, and some, lots of other spices but uh, I'm going to um, make a lot of them because I want to give them away as gifts as well and I think it's a really lovely gift uh, to give to people who doesn't love a deliciously sweet spiced ginger cookie. I am in such a mood for baking. I'm always in a mood for baking but when the sky is a little bit moody and cloudy and there's that chill in the air outside and the leaves are yellow and the fire is crackling and you almost need to light candles. I know it's very atmospheric but it's a very it's quite a dark kitchen because this used to be the stable in the farmhouse so uh, I light the candles for uh, for beauty but also for uh, utility as well because they uh, they provide lovely light as I'm, I'm filming over these ingredients and look at these ingredients we have uh, all of these spices here uh, cinnamon and ground ginger and nutmeg and uh, salt and pepper I found this book which is in was in the stable of uh, actually it's got a beautiful cover as well um, here and uh, it's, it was in the um, sorry not the stable the barn uh, in, in uh, Guido's parents house in Florence and uh, it says Swedish Christmas and it's got these beautiful little illustrations that are just sketches in, in black and white and it's got all these Christmas stories and uh, Swedish uh, recipes as well and and I love the old-fashioned oh my gosh it's even and it's got also carols in Swedish um, oh it's so beautiful may I read you just a little bit for it hang on do you? okay It's going quite well. Okay. Oh, can you see that? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Could you check that I'm in focus, my love? Very in focus. Am I? Yeah. Okay, great. It's super beautiful in focus. Thank you, my love. And what have you? What book is that? It's your mother's book. Oh, Swedish stuff. The, the Miracle, yes. Oh, infant, we know what will happen. We have come to tell you the truth. 
No, no. This is the, no, no, it's got everything. It's got recipes, it's got um, carols. Amazing. It's got stories about it. The thought of Christmas may be realized in many ways. Even that huge tree, that electrical glittering queen of the department store enthroned in the midst of the Christmas commerce may serve as a reminder in the right direction. This deep are our Christmas roots, both as an overt tradition, as a general family ritual, and as a vaguely emotional reminder of something deeply precious belonging to Christmas, an affair of the human human heart, inevitable. Pazzesco. Beautiful. Are you having a nap? Uh, no, no, I'm taking the fire. Okay. I remember from my childhood the hands of my grandmother as she lighted the candles in the three-armed candelabrum on the table. Grandfather had made it himself with three hearts cut in the wood, lacquer red in colour with improvised corn blue flowers. And what is that's like, like the, 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 the tree your mother bought? The Swedish tree. The Swedish tree, yeah. Grandmother struck the match. Her strong hands with prominent veins were those of a farmer's wife. Their work stood there to be read in them. Her own soul was akin to the nature of the light, to burn and illuminate by self-sacrifice. Hello. Hello. Oh, yes. I don't know if you're in the frame. Oh, this is a... Well, you explain it, my love. No, I don't know. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a Swedish Christmas tree that uh, Guido's mother sent to put on display this Christmas. And you put candles here, and then you put little apples uh, around here. And she said for her, this was the, because she spent every Christmas in Sweden, and she's, this was the just a beautiful memory of, of Christmas, is all these shiny, polished apples, and, uh, and this little bird on top. And of course, it's out of wood, and my father was like, oh, I love this, this is great. We should get him to make a tree topper, no, a better start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I don't think we can put apples on it, because our apples are too big. But what else can we put on that? Tangerines. Oh, yeah, clementines. Candies. Candies. <laughs> yes, imagine just dripping in little chocolates. Anyway, it's so pretty, isn't it? So, uh, let's get on to making the biscuits, because otherwise, we will have nothing for afternoon tea. Do you know what I love imagining? I love imagining that I'm back in a time where spices were considered just precious gifts, this wonderful uh, miracle that you could put into a bland dish and just give it life and warmth and, and flavor and, and that, that, that sense of, uh, of, uh, of luxury, really, because you know, spices were so expensive and they were such sort of used as, a, uh, in, in some places, in, in some uh, eras, they were used as a, only on special occasions. And you can imagine well, it's a little bit of a stretch of imagination for, for, for young people today, I, I suppose, because we just buy them and they're so cheap. I mean, you buy a, a little bottle of ground cinnamon and you think nothing of it. But imagine that this was something that you could only afford uh, at, on special occasions. And imagine that you've been used to having sort of uh, breads and and cakes and things with just just flour and then all of a sudden from some far exotic land came a little sack of this this precious dust this magical dust that you taste this the deep uh, soulful heat of, 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 of cinnamon or ginger or uh, a cardamom spices spices were something uh, to be be cherished and to to sort of be celebrated and uh, now they're just the most ubiquitous thing it's so mundane i guess here i have ground ginger uh cinnamon uh nutmeg uh pepper salt uh and i should have cardamom but i i don't have any on me so if you have cardamom add it to the to the recipe but i don't have any but i think this should be enough it's um it's going to be wonderful and then of course i'm going to also add some fresh ginger which I have here, which I'll need to, to just grate up very finely. And, uh, and, and then of course, brown sugar, uh, I have some butter. Ah, no, I thought I was forgetting a spice. I also have to grind up the uh, cloves. Cloves are just, uh, just a wonderful Christmas spice. And so I just have them in the mortar and pestle uh, to grind up and add to the rest. So let us begin with the dry ingredients. So we start, uh, with the flour. Now I'm making 
a big batch because I remember when I made these two years ago and everyone ate them so quickly and we all wanted more and by the time you've gone to the trouble you just think oh well I'll wait till next year but I would like to also give this away as gifts and they look so pretty just in a little in a little little sack or in a box and uh, and they stack really well so they look quite pretty if you put them in cellophane and now I just want some baking soda I stir that around and then everything else we're going to uh, just gently heat on the stove. Lots of recipes say to use molasses which would be lovely but I only have honey which I find works just as well. It's not as dark but that's okay we'll get the we'll get the depth of flavor and the dark color from the the cinnamon and the nutmeg and the brown sugar. We have our honey. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. We have our butter. Isn't this dish lovely? A um, friend of mine, uh, two friends of mine actually, gave it to me as a, as a gift. I just love having a little pretty home for butter. So that's all our butter. And now, we want to add all our spices. Oh, wonderful. And let me just grate in some fresh ginger as well. I love this, this uh, peeler. I think this is actually used to belong to uh, Guido's grandmother. Fresh ginger. The real challenge is going to be waiting because technically when I've made this in the past I've made the cookie dough the, the day before and then you let it rest overnight in the fridge and all the flavors become deep and rich and delicious uh, but my parents are about to come back from one passeggiata, a walk, they've taken Gianfranco and uh, of course it's just the perfect time to have a cup of tea and a, and a sweet biscuit. What do you think Amore? We could bake them, bake them. Bake them. Actually, I've, I've made so much that I can leave some to bake tomorrow and I'll bake some today. Let's bake them in the wooden oven. I think it might be a bit too... I don't know, what I've never baked cookies in a in a in an antique <laughs> uh, wood fire oven. What's the temperature oven. you need? Uh, 180? Mm, probably it's too hot. Yeah. Let's, let's bake... Pizza. Let's bake... So, yeah, let's bake something for dinner, no? Yeah, no, no. The, the neighbors have prepared the dough for focaccia, I see. bread, and maybe pizza. Wow. Ma pesta sera. Add some brown sugar. And some white sugar. Here I'm just grinding up the cloves. Okay. And now this goes on the stove to heat. You could do it in a in a pot. You don't have to do it in a fry pan like this. I just wanted it to be shallow so you could see it. So you just want that on a low heat. And let me get something to stir up with. Oh, this is going to become a delicious, thick, spiced caramel. I just forgot. We also want a little bit of orange juice. I'll just put that in now. And we want to wait for this to cool before we uh, mix in the egg. I also forgot vanilla. Let's just add some vanilla in now. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's so fragrant.
If I could have one in all the world, just one wish, the hands of time would stop when I'm with you. Now this goes into the fridge for at least two hours, but preferably overnight. For as long as you are in my arms, love is here to stay, and it feels like Christmas every day. Guido My culo, is, as usual. is lighting the fire that is. How many years have you been here? How many years have you been here? I told you that here, every Sunday, we made the pan for all the week. Ah, yes? Yes, we made the fire, we made the pan, and they were doing, let's say, countryside bread. Wow. That is bread that lasts more. And yeah. They were doing like hundreds of kilos of bread because it was the bread that they were doing for all the farm for the people that lived around the farm and it was like maybe 10 families and now we are doing bread wow it's quite a big space no it's i think it's sort of 80 or 90 centimeters wide and it's round and the principle of these type of ovens is that you do a big fire in the middle. Yeah. The oven gets very hot because it's done of uh, a certain type of terracotta that keeps the warmth. La <laughs> festa. <laughs> Senti il profumo di rosmarino. Eh, bisogno di qualcosa? No, grazie. Allora posso, vado a fare un po' di spesa. Mm. Vai. Vai, accendi, accendi quello. Perché... What do you think it is about fires that you, that you love so much? I don't know. I'm probably... Uh, in another time I would have been piromane. <laughs> <laughs> I really like lighting fires. I think it's something inherent in all human beings, no? That we just... We love the idea of... Of fire. I mean, it's so mesmerizing. Earlier that day, Guido was lighting another fire for a barbecue lunch with vegetables from our garden. It's a holiday. Okay. Can I fetch in your cantina? Because light near Florence is scant. Dead. We have also a pumpkin that came from Magisto's garden. <laughs> this is my mother rocking Gianfranco to sleep on a chair with a rocking element my father just built recently. Meanwhile, I was foraging for greenery to make a Christmas garland for the sitting room.
Come va? Sto faticando perché la legna si è bagnata, quindi brucia male. Ah. E quindi il barbecue sta andando un po' piano. Ok. Term late on the schedule. Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh wow, it works perfectly. Bellissima. <laughs> He made it so we, he made it so we could rock the baby. Uh, this is something that the designers of IKEA should use. Oh, they they've got ones on IKEA, but they're yeah, not but as beautiful is, as this. Yeah, and then this is look, doop. It's attached to another. Yeah, so he he made it so we can attach it detach it and attach it to any chair. Lovely. Oh, she did sole. And you got the salsiccia from a very good butcher. Yeah, yeah. No. It's a sort of small supermarket that has amazing meat and we definitely will bring lots of them up in the mountains because they're useful as both for barbecue and for doing other things. Like ragu. Uh, ragu or yeah. other dishes. An Italian bambino will eat uh, salsiccia completely raw, no? These ones can be eaten raw because can, let's say. I've been eating them always, so... But uh, we have our friends, for example, um, you know, Cosimo Marion, their, their children were eating raw, 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 no? Yeah, absolutely. But oh, most of our friends have uh, children. Andrea, sì. le figlie di Alessio. Sì. But uh, it's something that I think in, uh, in Australia or North America, they would say, oh my gosh, no, you're going to die from... <laughs> Eating raw. I think we have to die of something. <laughs> we die happy. Diciamo, it's our version of the busto and bratwurst. Yeah, yeah. But it's done, and all through Italy, obviously, it's done in different ways. They put different types of spices. This, obviously, is the Tuscan one. That is very tasty. And very salty as yeah, all the made with uh, with pork. Yeah. Oh damn it. Yeah. Guido and my parents like to finish the meal with a glass of wine, toasted bread and some creamy gorgonzola. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect amount. <laughs> it's a matter of perspective. Side by side So this evening I'm going to attempt making a garland because I just felt like we need more Christmas in this room and we have uh, so many beautiful uh, things out in the woods and on the property. So uh, we, there was a tree that, uh, that fell down and we, I just got the branches from that. Ma che tipo di albero era quello? Cedro dell'Atlante. So Atlantic cedar? Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, there was a storm and it went down. Yeah, uh, and uh, so the branches of that are really beautiful and they look very Christmassy. And then the cypress uh, trees, the cipressi, have uh, wonderful branches, uh, green, not branches so much as, well, the greenery. <laughs> and uh, I used them, uh, was it last year or the year before, when I made a, a Christmas wreath and it looks so lovely. Uh, actually, Here's some wine I prepared earlier. Um, you look, see this, and they have these. Ma cosa sono? Sono noci? Are they, are these the? Sì, le noci che produce, ma in Toscana si chiamano coccole. Coccole? Davvero? Sì. Anyway, uh, these little nut-like things, I think will look really pretty. Uh, my parents on their walk, collected all these uh, leaves but I don't know that whether how I can put them in unless I glue them in uh, I don't have a 
perhaps I could. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, would, I'm just going to see if I can string it up along the big iron rods of the stable that surround the, the uh, couch area, the sofa area. I think it should be quite easy. Essentially, you just get a long piece of string and uh, have that as your central line and then some wire to wrap each uh, little bouquet of, of uh, branches as you go along. And uh, I'm, I'm confident. I think, you know, the wreath that I made two years ago looked so beautiful, it turned out really well, so it's similar to that. Scusate. Uh, sorry. And, uh, and then uh, in the kitchen I hung up, the, as we saw last episode, I hung up the wreath I made uh, last year, which was just out of olive branches. And I think. Si chiamano galguri. Si chiamano? La pigna del cipresso si chiama galbulo. Galbulo. Galbuli. Che parola strana. Eh, lo so, non sapevo neanche. <laughs> Do you want to help me? Uh, no. Maybe, I don't know. Well, you can just have a nap on the couch and, and keep me company while I okay. make. <laughs> and why do you put it up? You're worried about it? Why? Because if it's not burning properly, it won't reach the right temperature, temperature for, for the focaccia. Because we have uh, his neighbors who are making uh, focaccia and maybe sourdough, yeah, maybe pizza. Makes, yeah, exactly. Wow. But uh, the, the important thing in the oven is warm enough. Sure. Hot enough. Hot enough. I was going to film her because she's an amazing baker. Well, she's actually, she works in a hospital, uh, but she has a passion for baking. But I always feel a bit rude, uh, sort of, I like to get, sort of, take my time with people literally over years before I stick a camera in their face. And some people really love it and they take it as a compliment that you want to film something they're doing or, or get their opinion. But for, sometimes I think it's a bit rude just uh, filming people, especially when they're on holiday and or just enjoying their, their weekend or something. Uh, so I shall show you the finished result, but uh, one day I might get her, her expert tips on bread making because her sourdough is the best I've ever tasted and she cooks it uh, in our uh, ancient oven. Now, see if it's cool, if it's hot enough, one should see if inside it's white. And if it's white, it means that it went up to 300 degrees. The, the roof of it is white? Yeah, because it went up to 300 degrees and it burnt the la fuligine, in some si dice. Uh, you see it's white? No. The, 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 the roof. Uh, hang on. Oh, wow. Yes. So that means that... Because what, co what colour was it before? Oh, black, like there. Ah, davvero? Quelle furigini. Una crostata, poi, che altro? Questo è l'impasto della focaccia. Wow. E questo è farina, olio? Farina, eh, lievito, acqua e olio. Wow. E questo è l'impasto per il pane. Okay. At this rate, I'm quite slow, so it might be more like little uh, corner pieces rather than one big long garland. But it's going to look beautiful. Ah, oh, delicious. Let's go and see the bread. <laughs> Grazie. Oh, no, I've got a <laughs> dirty hand. <laughs> Let's see me. Incredible. 
questo non dovrebbe bruciare perché questo è visto che ho messo tutta la farina mi sente il profumo? No, a me mi è parso di sì, poi magari è perché sono goloso però <ride> wow, ho già fatto sì. 10 mm. minuti precisi belle buttato dentro mm. tiriamoci il pane intanto <ride> mm. kangaroo <ride> wow perfetto senti oh wow buonasera it is the next day if you can see can you see the bread just behind me there um So this is another one, another loaf we cooked today. Uh, and she also made a crostata. And uh, it's funny, she says after the emergency room, after working in the, in the trauma or emergency room or something, uh, she finds it relaxing to knead bread or knead bread dough. And uh, so, yes, yeah, so we, we were busy with that yesterday evening. And in, in any case, the, this... This batter is, is so much better, this cookie dough is so much better the next day. So as it happens, I was able to wait the 24 hours. And oh my gosh, I just tried one hot out of the oven and it is so incredible. It's just, hang on, let me show you. Starts to fall and carolers start to call. It's very clear another year has passed. Time is moving so fast, but as long You are in my arms Love is here to stay And it feels like Christmas every day If I could have one gift in all the world Just one wish The hands of time Would stop when I'm With you This thing, Santa Can you do For as long As you are in my arms to stay and it feels like Christmas every day 